Hi, this is Carl from kayakflyguy.com and today I'm going to show you how to install a simple pad eye in a kayak and we're going to follow that up with a handle, a very simple handle. I recently purchased a Cobra Strike which is a fantastic surfing kayak but it had no handle in the back. It's not really a fishing kayak either but it serves as a good example. For this project you're going to need some tools. You're going to need a tape measure, a drill, drill bits of the right size, pop rivet gun, tri-blade pop rivets, pad eye of course, marine goop, one inch PVC pipe, hacksaw to cut the pipe to length, and some rope. The first thing we want to do is figure out where we want to put the pad eye. It's very important if you're installing a handle front or back to have it dead center and make sure you have it the appropriate distance uh, forward or aft. So I figure out both of those things and mark exactly where I want that pad eye to be, dead center. After that, I grab the pad eye, center it up, and I'll take uh, and mark within each of those holes where I'm going to need to install my rivets. Make sure your marks are uh, exact by just taking a simple measurement afterwards. It never hurts to double check. I even triple check sometimes. Uh, and once you have established that, you can actually use the end of the rivet to scribe a little indent uh, into the mark uh, so that your drill bit doesn't walk. Go ahead and drill that out uh, the proper proper size for the rivet that you're using. Once you've done that, uh, you're going to want to test it out with the rivet and the pad eye. And uh, just, so just line up the pad eye, drop the rivet in, and then I always take an opportunity and this is where I triple check my measurement to make sure everything lines up and uh, then you can go ahead and scribe that hole uh, where you're going to drill that hole and uh, grab your drill swing swing the pad eye out of the way and uh, punch your second hole go ahead and test that out Make sure the rivet drops in there, everything lines up nicely, and at this point everything should. So go ahead and pull that out, and at this point we want to add marine goop to those holes. Uh, don't be stingy with this, put some in and around the hole, and uh, seal it up really good. So then you just take the pad eye and the rivets and drop them back into place. Everything should line up snugly. Don't worry about any goop. We can clean any excess up later. Take your rivet gun and push it uh, over the stem of the rivet and all the way down. And then each time you uh, pull down on the handle, the rivet's going to pull up a little bit. Drop the gun back down onto uh, the head of the rivet until it pops off. At that point, these tri-blade rivets... Uh, make a nice purchase. You don't want to use a bulb rivet, a regular standard pop rivet. You want these tri-bladed rivets. They'll hold much better. Once you've done that to both rivets, uh, get some more goop, put it right on the head of each of the rivets, uh, seal that up really good. I don't ever want water getting into my kayak if I can help it. And uh, at that point, uh, you've installed a pad eye uh, and uh, you just let that dry before moving on. At this point, let's uh, go ahead and cut your PVC to length. I use about four inches and then mark where you want the holes. Uh, where you place these shouldn't be too close to each other uh, just because you don't want a weak point in the middle of that PVC, but you don't want them way out at the ends either. So once you've marked and scribed your holes, go ahead and drill them out. Uh, again, the size of the hole depends on the s diameter of the rope that you're using. So 3 8 is pretty common size and I believe that's what I used. Once you've finished up you'll have a couple of holes. You can go ahead and push the rope through. Uh, you'll want to start with a length at least uh, three to four times what you uh, think you're going to need. Tie an overhand knot in one end, pull it back through tight, and then pass the other end through your pad eye. Figure out about the length that you want and then push uh, your tag end 
back through the second hole and out of the end of the PVC. And you're going to pull it down past where you want it so you can tie a knot in it. Um, that and, and when you pull it back through it won't be too long. So go ahead and figure out where that is, tie your knot, and then you can test it out. Uh, don't, don't draw it down tight until you've tested it. Uh, once you've established that it's a good length, now you'll want to cut that tag end. Do so very carefully. Don't want you cutting a finger off. And uh, pull the rope back through and you'll have installed a handle in a kayak. This is Carl from kayakflyguy.com. Thanks for watching.